In part one of this video, I talked about influencer marketing, one fancy marketing buzzword. Now it's time for another, content marketing. Like influencer marketing though, content marketing is not just a buzzword, but rather an incredibly powerful marketing tool. In fact, content marketing is somewhat considered as the natural evolution of search engine optimization and is now an integral part of almost every business marketing strategy. Essentially, the objective with content marketing is several fold, but it all revolves around developing high quality content, not surprisingly. Traditionally, this content will then either be uploaded to your own blog or to the website of someone else in your industry where it's known as a guest post. We're going to focus here on uploading content to your own blog. And yes, even if you run a B2B or commercial business, you should still have a blog which you can use to add content to your site and to build a relationship with your visitors. This is also very important for your SEO and the more content you add to your site, the more there will be for Google to search through an index. When it comes to LinkedIn marketing, content marketing is all about offering value to your visitors through your blog. Essentially, you're going to add lots of new content to your blog or website, and you're going to make sure that it provides real value to your LinkedIn network. This means it needs to be interesting, useful, entertaining, engaging, or all four, preferably the latter. Again, think about the kind of content that you would want to read. Avoid anything that's derivative or done to death, and instead ask yourself, if you saw that crop up on your home feed, would you click on it? If the answer is no, then you need to rethink the angle of the piece or you need to make the title more interesting. What you're now doing is converting your LinkedIn connections into potential fans and regular visitors for your website. This might also lead to some people signing up to your mailing list or even becoming direct customers or clients if your site is good at converting. At the same time, if you keep posting great quality content to your LinkedIn network, you'll find that they generally start to regard you as someone who knows what they're talking about with regard to that subject or niche. This is the other huge benefit of content marketing. It allows you to demonstrate your knowledge and give your visitors a free taste. Eventually, they should come to consider you as a leading authority in that field, and as such, they might seek out your opinions when looking for products, services, or other ways to spend money. It's at this point that you become an influencer yourself and give yourself a platform through which you can launch your various business ventures. But why do all the work yourself? You can also let people share your content from your blog directly to their LinkedIn networks. To do this, you just need to install Shareaholic, which you can install here from shareaholic.com. Install that onto your WordPress site and that way visitors will be able to quickly and easily share your content on a number of different social media sites, LinkedIn included. Note that you can also get your content automatically shared with LinkedIn through WordPress as you post it and this can save you some time as well when it comes to sharing it manually. Another way is the LinkedIn Pulse which you can come here to linkedin.com forward slash today and LinkedIn Pulse is a great tool that essentially allows you to make guest posts on LinkedIn. Now normally the idea of a guest post is that it will allow you to backlink with your own website and while at the same time gaining some authority of the post that your posts appear on you know so it's sort of working off the back of somebody else's post you see. Now Guest posting has the advantage of allowing you to target a very specific market and that being the demographic that you're trying to sell to. Well, LinkedIn Pulse is essentially a news service that's published right on LinkedIn itself that users can use to find interesting stories published by their connections or that are within their areas of interest. And as a reader, this is an excellent place to learn industry news and to get inspiration for your own content generation. In terms of networking, it's an excellent way to find influencers in your niche. And from a marketing perspective though, it's a great place to publish your content for SEO benefit and to improve your authority, your influence and brand exposure. Of course, 
On top of all this content marketing and influencer marketing, you can also use LinkedIn to just, well, post. This works the exact same way as it would on Facebook or Twitter, and whatever you post will appear in the newsfeed of your connections and followers. As with Twitter or Facebook, each time you post, you increase your brand awareness and remind your connections that you exist. At the same time, you can use this method to let people know about new product and service launches, about special offers, and about all manner of other things going on with your business. The rules of posting successfully on LinkedIn are the same as they are for any other social media channel. Make sure that you post regularly, but not too often. Don't say anything controversial or offensive. Don't promote yourself too much and always offer something that has value. You know, people don't want to know about your lunch. More than other networks as well, make sure you stay professional and on message. If you're a car salesman, then you probably have people following you who like cars and who are in the industry. So make sure your posts are on topic and that way you'll be providing value and you'll be providing something that actually interests your audience. Companies can also post by using company updates and these are similar posts that you write from your business and they'll appear in your connections news feeds. This is once again a good way to make sure that people see your logo regularly and are reminded that your brand exists. Better yet, if you create a company update and post it to your feed, there's a chance that someone will like it, they'll share it or they'll comment on it. And when they do that, then it becomes visible to everyone in their network. LinkedIn doesn't have the same potential to go viral as, say, Facebook. However, what it does give you is the opportunity to potentially get your content seen by people like Donald Trump. Again, if you have someone in your connections who knows someone in theirs, then it only takes a couple of likes for them to be able to see what you've posted. And if it's something that makes you look very good, that might then a. Elicit a like or a share from that influencer or b. Leave them more open to potential business offers in the future. So don't let the relatively small number of shares and likes put you off. LinkedIn is all about quality and you absolutely must be posting here as well as the other big social networks. Note as well that you also have access to another very powerful tool. Targeted company updates. Now these are basically updates that allow you to target precisely who sees your post in their newsfeed. Filters include company size, industry, function, geography, language, seniority and more. All of this means that you can target precisely who sees your messages and thus avoid spamming all of your connections with information and news that they aren't really likely to be interested in. Company updates also give you a useful way to update your employees about changes within your organization. And this demonstrates the power of LinkedIn as a business management tool for internal business dealings, as well as for networking and marketing.